Hi everyone. This is Tamil Chelvan, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangodu. Today we discuss about the topic Principles of Marketing. The first topic we discuss about meaning of marketing. It means by which the exchange of goods and services takes place as a result of buyers and sellers being in contact with one another either directly or through mediating agent or institution. Then next we discuss about definition. It is a social and managerial process by which individuals and group attain what they need and want through creating and exchanging product and value with others. Then next we discuss about futures of modern marketing concept. The first is a consumer oriented market. The next we see a begin and end with the consumer. Then third proceeds and succeeds on production. Then it is a competition oriented. Then it is a strategy is market target. Then the distribution of policy under modern marketing is direct marketing and direct selling. Then next we discuss about modern marketing concept. There are six points is there. The first one is for production concept. It is a company which use the production concept generally focused too narrowly on their own activities because according to this, to this concept, the companies think that the consumer will buy the product which comes in the market. Then next we discuss about product concept. This concept, companies give importance to the futures or the quality of product because in long run, the product exits only with the quality is given to the consumer. Then next we discuss about selling concept. It is not sufficient for manufacturing of made of the goods and wait for the customers. Hence, the accordance this concept, it is very important to inform the consumer awareness about the product which can be done through different way of promotional activities. Then next we discuss about marketing concept. In this concept nowadays, the consumer is treated as God. So it is very important for the manufacturer to produce the product which the consumer wants so that consumer gets satisfaction and manufacturer earn the profit. Then next one is for consumer concept. Now not only all the marketing concept is sufficient, rather the companies are using consumer concept which means to give attention to the individual consumer, it can be done through one to one marketing. Then societal market, this concept means company should not only work for the consumer but also for the society. So the company should make balance between the profit and also consumer wants and the social welfare. Then next we discuss about global marketing. It is defined as marketing on a worldwide scale or taking global operational difference, similarities and opportunities in order to reach the global objectives. Then next we discuss about some benefits of global marketing. The first point discuss about increase the quality of product or services. Then familiarity of brand image. Then raise the knowledge about your brand. Then lesser cost more saving. Then reach the wider largest target audience. Then gain the upper hand on your competitor. Then gain across the border. Then next we discuss about e-marketing. It is utilizing web-based futures and applications for advertising and marketing efforts to draw traffic to your business. It is a different, it is a digital advertisement that target internet users. Then next we discuss about some advantages. The first point we will discuss about reducing the cost. Then second one discuss about convenience. Then third one innovations. Then fourth one market research then improve the customer interaction then improve the services these are the points we discuss in the advantages of marketing thank you for watching this video